Hi, everybody. So on my last video, I said I was going to do a showcase of my airsoft kit, and I had a comment on my last video from a guy. Thank you, whoever commented. You're the first person to comment on that video. I love you to death. Um, if you're subscribed, there's going to be more shit soon. So I just wanted to show this off. So everything is a Desert Dyke camo. The pants are from Crydax. Uh, these are Gen 3 combat pants with the knee pads. I got to protect myself whenever I need to be sucking dick on the field. Uh, it's just... I need to. The shirt I bought from Amazon, it was some Chinese company that had it. Uh, I've seen it like on other websites retailing for like $100. Um, saw like Aries Tactical selling it, I think is who it was, a couple of other websites. But I can't give you a confirmed price or even where this thing is even sold. I have no idea who even sells it. Helmet is from Action Union. Uh, there's their patch right there. I really like this helmet. It's lightweight. It's a little heavy. Uh, the earphones are just for show or the contacts. They are fake. So uh, I'm going to get some real ones here pretty soon. Um, as for the plate carrier, this is a Yakita or Yakita plate carrier. Um, yeah, I even moved all the pouches. It's got pouches on the side and everything that I, don't, that I do not use. I don't know what I'll use them for at any point. Um, I don't know what. But the bag, the hanger bag is from Tacticon Armament. When it's got my, uh, my Tardcore. My camera makes it feel reversed, but my Tardcore patch and my Foxhound patch, because I'm a huge Metal Gear fan, um, on the back of it, I have a Cry JPC uh, carrier bag or panel bag. Um, it's a rifle bag with a bunch of panels in it. It doubles as a backpack. I normally carry it out onto the field, and I'll carry, like, battery. God damn. Uh, I'll carry batteries in it, uh, extra ammo if i'm ever out playing uh, a little bit of just hydration water food if i'm going out to like major events um you know, the gloves they are from a company called kimimoto uh these are their hard knuckle gloves i really like these days they feel really nice uh i'm a little bit on the larger hand size so that's just it on my side i have a springfield xdm uh gbb it's got no pellets in it right now of course but slide lock uh you know if you've owned a gbb before you know how these are uh belt is also from yakita uh they sell a battle belt online and i really like this one getting it set up is a little bit weird even for me uh it's a little weird but it's whatever now on to the main piece i'd like to present to you my icsm4 uh this is the ics cxp uh bottle number is cx F03899. Um, this is an EBB rifle. Uh, as you can see, that I mean, with most AEGs, the you know, pull this back and it, you know, it you can adjust your hop up or whatever. This can't. This has got an auto adjustment, not auto adjustment. What I'm even saying. It's got a very easy to reach hop up. Uh, very good split gearbox. Very good internals. Uh, the grip is a BCM Gunfighter grip or Warfighter. Forget the actual name of it. Um, I really like this grip. I'm planning on getting a longer barrel because, as you guys can see, it is pretty short. Uh, I can't really – it feels kind of uncomfortable having to hold it, but I really like it. Velishy, uh RDS, this is a very cheap optic. I bought this bitch for, like, $20 on Amazon because um, I had another one, and it was – it's a bootleg hollow. I think it's like an ESP30 or an ESP3, I think that's what it's called. Sling, like $15 sling. I recommend everyone get one of these if you're going to be playing Gearsoft, especially if you have a sidearm setup, if you're going to be going indoor. This, this thing is more catered towards CQB. The the muzzle brake is a AK suppressor for a – I don't know what it is, what, what it's even called. But I really like this thing. It's got a nice aggressive look to it. It's got like all these perforated points all over the front. Uh, I really like it. But I mean, I don't even know what to say for these kinds of videos. Cause like there's only so much you can ever like really get into for showing off this shit. And I don't know. It, it just could be different things. Uh, everyone's different. Uh, everyone's different. <laughs> but I'm gonna put that down for a cost from damage. Um, if you're wondering what kind of pellets I use, I use Blue Mag Airsoft uh, 0.28 gram BBs, uh, white biodegradable because I care about the environment. I ain't got time to really be fucking around with all the hard ones, especially when I go shoot outside in my uh, in my backyard at my girlfriend's house because I moved in here. 
and I really don't want to fuck up her yard, leaving BBs all over the place that do not degrade, and I really don't want that for her. But, yeah, uh, this is about the Airsoft kit. If anyone is interested, I will probably put links to everything in the description if people are interested. I don't know if I upload this on TikTok. Uh, YouTube channel will be in my bio. You go check it out and go from there. But yeah, I pretty much did this whole kit as a as a green. As, I don't know what to really describe it as. I really pretty much did it to go do Operation Bone Crusher, but Bone Crusher sold out before I could get to it. So I went and did Tiger's Cage, which was the event from that one minute video I did that I plan to redo if I could ever if they ever have another event out there. Um, but. I don't know what to say anymore. I think I'm going to say what all needs to get said. So, yeah. Uh, next video is going to be my X Defiant video. Keep an eye out for that. Uh, I got some other shit, you know, in the background that I'm working on. But I probably should show some iPro, which is very important for anyone. iPro is, like, super important. I just sold these from work. These are just, like, um, just regular safety glasses, impact rated. And if anyone wondering for the camera, this is my camera. I have a... One, I forget how big of an SD card I got in this bitch, but yeah, this is a Akaso Brave 4K. I recorded 1080p, uh, 120 FPS, because I am a snob when it comes to frame rate. So yeah, if you guys need a good 4K camera that attaches to your helmet, and mine looks pretty, pretty goofy, um, I'll show it real quick on the mount. Yeah, that's, that's how it looks. Um, it's pretty noticeable whenever I do play, so I might have to figure something out for that. But the oh, for, for I forget, uh, the helmet cover is from Black. I think they're called Black Gunpowder. I can't see the name tag, but it's called it's from a company called like Black Gunpowder, and they make these. Uh, probably total kit. What I've probably spent is maybe like six hundred dollars uh, just for like all of this, I think. And for both of my guns, I probably paid like four hundred bucks for like both of them, which. It's a pretty fucking snazzy little deal. I uh, really like this one a lot, but I like my <laughs> like my M4 a lot more. But uh, probably next kit that I'll do will probably be like an MP9 kit, like a Danish Frogman kind of thing. But yeah, my name's Big Gunner Random, and I'm out. See ya.